Butterflies and moths are in decline. In the last 10 years alone, three quarters of our butterflies have declined in abundance, while three of our moth species have become extinct. Causes of this include habitat loss and use of pesticides, but there's a lot we can do for butterflies and moths in our gardens. You don't need a large garden, a balcony will do. Simply plant some nectar-rich plants in a pot and you'll have a one-stop shop for butterflies and moths to come and feast on nectar. All you need to do is fill a pot with compost. Do use peat-free compost because peat bogs are a valuable habitat for rare insects, including some species of butterfly. So do try to get peat-free compost where possible. And if your garden centre or nursery doesn't sell peat-free compost, ask them why. Next, choose your plants. Here I've got some cosmos, which has a lovely open flower so the butterflies and moss can access the nectar easily. I've got some boronocastrum or speedwell, some geranium here, and some oregano, which isn't in flower yet, but when it is, it's a butterfly magnet. You don't have to use these plants, you can choose other plants, anything as long as it's got an open flower, which is known as a single flower, so the butterflies and moths can access the nectar. Avoid double flowered plants such as roses and dahlias, and also a lot of bedding plants which have been overbred so they don't tend to contain as much nectar in the flowers. There's no rules to setting up a pot, you could put this in the pot on its own and make a really lovely display, or you could add it with a range of different plants so they drape over and they have a longer display over a longer period. I'm going to put these all together and make something to look really pretty and it can be a centrepiece on my patio which will also draw in the butterflies and moths. So all you do, choose the largest plant first and you place it towards the back and then the second tallest plant. Don't worry too much about squashing the roots, they're quite happy. Oregano at the front, squeeze that round geranium there. So just add some compost around the edge here to make sure the plants are nice and cosy. So here we've got the cosmos and the boronocastrum which are in flower now. The geranium's just coming into flower and the oregano will come into flower later on. So there's a nice long season of nectar for pollinators including butterflies and moths. Keep the cosmos going just by snipping off the dead stems and it will continue flowering. It can go on until about September if you look after it. Water well, put this somewhere in full sun where you can enjoy the display as well and obviously the butterflies and moths can enjoy it too. And don't forget to send pictures of your creations to plantpotsforpollinators.org.